I've been a practicing dentist for almost six years now, which means that I'm right in that sweet spot between having experience in the field, but also remembering what it was like before I started dental school. In this video, I'm gonna discuss everything, both good and bad, that I wish someone had told me before I decided I wanted to be a dentist. I wish someone had told me that there are far easier ways to make money than to become a dentist. So one of the big reasons that people go into dentistry is because they wanna make big bucks. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, you certainly can make a lot of money in dentistry, but there are far easier ways to make money in this world than going through dental school. So there is a ton of hard work just to even get into the profession. You're going through seven to nine years of intense studying and opportunity costs where you're not earning money in the workforce. You're studying all the time, all nighters, taking the DAT, trying to do extracurriculars, you eventually get interviews, you're traveling all around. That's just the beginning of spending money to get into the profession. And now congratulations, you finally got admitted to dental school. The first thing you do is take a lot of credit and go into a crazy amount of debt. You take essentially double the course load that you did in undergrad college. You start doing these new clinical skills, which you've never done before. And some of the smartest people who are great at exams struggle immensely with this new clinical hand skill. And it's not something that you can necessarily just study for. Learning the dimensions of the preparation isn't gonna help you here. You need to practice and you can't just brute force your way to being better at this. You're used to being one of the smartest people in the classroom and then you get a C minus on your first restorative practical. That hurts. Now you begin your career and you think that everything's gonna be easy straight. Wrong. So you graduate with $400,000 plus of debt and now you need to find a job in this competitive job market to begin your career. You go from being used to two and a half hour appointments in dental school to having to do something in 45 minutes. You're trying to cover three different operatories which you're bouncing around between. You have angry patients, you're not satisfied with the clinical results that you're getting, and your body starts to hurt you because of how hard you're working. Oh, and don't forget that you're not making money in your sleep. If you wanna be making money as an associate, you need to be there in the chair. You also might've had this idea before you started dental school that you were going to be a specialist, but surprise, over 90% of students who graduate dental school become general dentists. So why the F would anyone go into this profession? In spite of everything that I just talked to you about, I think dentistry is one of the most rewarding, fulfilling careers that you can do. I think it's important to hear all of these negatives because I wanna ensure that you're informed and don't feel after you graduate that you've made a mistake. But the type of person who should become a dentist is the type of person who hears all of that and still says, this is the career for me. I love dentistry. I like it so much that I convinced my fiance to go into the field and we are incredibly happy. First, you can do incredibly well financially. There are definitely easier ways to make money, whether that's going into business or engineering or computer science, but I am very pleased with my income. I've paid off all my student debt very quickly and I'm so happy with how things are going financially that I actually don't even work a full schedule. Dentistry provides me so much flexibility in what my schedule is like day to day. I don't work five days a week. When I am in the office, I choose to work 9.30 to 4.30 or eight to three. And I'm essentially allowed to take as much vacation as I want to. I'm doing so well financially, I don't feel the need to work as a dentist all the time. The flexibility that this career gives me allows me to also work for a DAT bootcamp on roadmap prep, work on this YouTube channel. And when I'm in the chair, I'm enjoying it. Every day is different. It is challenging. You're gonna have to work hard but I see myself getting better every single day as a dentist. The dentist I am today is wildly different than the dentist I was three years ago or three years before that. And it's nice to see that type of progression in myself as an individual and as a clinician. There's so much autonomy in the profession. I see an issue and I help the patient to come up with a solution. And how I approach that solution, whether it be an extraction or a filling, is completely up to me. And there are a million different ways to skin a cat in dentistry. So you really do get to use so much judgment and problem solving day to day. And it's not just me, people love this career. I'm a part of several dental Facebook groups and the way that people debate and talk about dentistry in their spare time is fascinating. It really does become a part of you. Dentistry is part of my identity. Me and my fiance talk about it after work. I hear her talking to her friends, other recent grads, about what their day was like, what challenges they faced and how they approached it. And that cliche of wanting to help people really is true in the profession. I have patients that have come to me and told me because of my patience and my caring attitude, that they feel comfortable seeing me as a clinician when they haven't been going to a dentist in the past 20 years. Whether it's pain or aesthetics, you're doing something to help someone feel better in their body and be more confident. And that type of impact is truly rare in a career. So the number one thing that I wish dentists had told me before I started was that this isn't an easy career, but it's a rewarding one. It's fulfilling, it's different every day. I get challenged, but I feel like I can grow from it. Dentistry really is a career that allows you to have a growth mindset and feel like you can get better at this thing if you put the work in. If you decide to go ahead with dentistry, you're not gonna have a gold-lined pathway that is just easy and all ups. 
There will be tough days, it will be difficult, and there'll be days that you wish you'd done something else. But dentistry is an incredibly rewarding career and one that I'm very happy having pursued. And in spite of hearing all these negatives I've just mentioned, if you're still interested in the career, I think this can be a great one for you. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel and smash that like button to support me. I make videos to help you along your dental journey and help you understand more about the profession. I'll see you in the next one.